five, four, three, two, one. Number five. Shea Oladipo, Boise, Boise State. Shea Oladipo at nickel has been a contributor for the Broncos over the last three seasons. He was honorable mention at All Mountain West last season with 70 tackles, including eight and a half for loss. He has been a mainstay on the field, 118 career tackles, a nose for the football with 17 pass deflections and four interceptions. Safety nickel may be Boise State's deepest position on the defensive side of the ball, and Oladipo is one of the reasons why. Number four. Wyatt Eckler, Wyoming. Wyoming. So Wyatt Eckler's got good pedigree, right? We know his brother Austin's in the NFL, and Wyatt, one of, one of my favorite games of his last year, I believe it was the New Mexico game, where he just lit up that quarterback for New Mexico, had a couple sacks, may have had another one, but I think a penalty negated that one. Wyatt Eckler is super athletic. We saw him return a pick for a touchdown in the regular season finale at Nevada. He's always around the football. The guy just has a nose for it. And Wyoming safety's not particularly deep. He's going to have to be depended on to be out there most of the time. But man, Wyatt Eckler, super athletic. He's going to make plays. He will lower the boom, make some hits, and he's going to be around the football for this Cowboy defense. Number three. Alexander Tubner, Boise State. Alexander Tubner at safety mans the back of the Boise State defense. The grad student last year led the team in tackles with 85. He was the Mountain West Championship Game Defensive MVP, registering 10 tackles against UNLV as well as a forced fumble. When Spencer Danielson took over as head coach, it seems like it brought out the best in Tubner. In his last four games, he had 44 tackles, meaning he averaged 11. A four-time Mountain West academic all-player, he anchors the back end and is primed for another big season. Number two. Ike Larson, Utah State. What can you say about Ike that hasn't already been said? He is the face of this Utah State team, not just on the defense, not just special teams. This guy is the best player physically, uh, talent-wise uh, on Utah State. And as he goes in 2024, so will go Utah State. We know what he does on the defensive side. Short tackler, he's a ball hawk. He'll find the interceptions. He'll poke that ball loose and force fumbles. Uh, but on the special teams, multiple block kicks, including a game-saving block PAT on the road last year against UConn. This guy does everything. He is, again, the face of Utah State football and should have himself an incredible 2024 campaign. Number one. Jack Howell, Colorado State. Well, Jack Howell stepped on campus back in 2021 and immediately became an impact player. Fast forward now three years and Howell enters his senior season as one of the best defenders in the Mountain West Conference. Howell's the captain of the defense and one of the smartest players in the entire nation. He's been a first team all Mountain West Conference selection in each of the last two seasons and has amassed nearly 300 career tackles. Howell will need to be just as good this year, if not better, if the Rams are to be improved on the defensive side of the ball.